So what is the best major for a career in wildlife biology? I'm gonna answer that coming up right after this. Hello guys, my name is Eddie and I'm a wildlife biologist. I work for an environmental consulting firm in San Diego and I'm 29 years old. I've been working in environmental consulting for a number of years now. About six months ago, I made a video on tips on how to become a wildlife biologist. It's a longer video. I'll post the card right here. Go check it out if you have a chance. And that video ended up getting a fair amount of views. I was kind of surprised how many people are actually searching uh, for advice on careers in wildlife biology, but it really makes me excited because I love my career. I'm pumped that a lot of other people are looking to do it. And one question that I've repeatedly seen in the comments on that video, and I've also gotten a lot of direct messages, is about what major should you pick if you wanna do a career in wildlife biology? My answer to this question is it really depends, but if you live in the United States, okay, so this doesn't go for all countries, but if you live in the United States of America, the exact title of your major as long as it is something that is biologically related or at least science related it really doesn't matter that much at all because there are so many things that matter way more than the actual title of your major including your grades your experience your skills your connections, and a lot of other things. What you should be way more concerned about when picking a school is not what the title of the major is, but all of the resources that they have, the professors, the research that they're doing there. For undergrad, I went to Hamilton College, which is a tiny liberal arts school in upstate New York. No wildlife ecology department, relatively small biology department, but I had amazing professors. So, you know, whether you go to a tiny school like Hamilton with no specialized wildlife biology major, I was just a general biology major, or if you go to like a large state school that has a big wildlife ecology department with lots of research, um, specifically in wildlife biology, in the long run, it really doesn't matter because what matters most, again, are how well you do uh, in your classes, uh, your connections that you make with professors, other people, you know, jobs, internships, skills. When I was in Hamilton, I thought one advantage of going to a small school was that in a small environment, it's so much easier to make good connections with professors, which are really, really important um, in the long run when writing recommendations to get into grad school. Um, when applying to jobs, uh, you know, you're going to need references. So that was one huge advantage of going to Hamilton. And of course, on the flip side, going to a large university, for example, University of Florida, which has a very large wildlife ecology department. Uh, the advantage there is that you have so many more resources, so many more professors that you potentially can make connections with. One other piece of advice I have is I think no matter what, you should try to get a master's degree after undergrad because in whichever career path you go to it will definitely be a benefit to you when you pick your graduate program uh, that's when you really want to hone into you know what is that program specifically titled what specific research are you going to be researching who specifically are you going to be working with as an undergrad it really doesn't matter that much and now i know you guys are going to ask all right so what are some biologically related science majors that I could pick that would still be good other than wildlife biology. So, well, some majors that are closely related to wildlife biology as a title are like ecology, evolutionary biology, organismal biology, wildlife management, zoology. Um, but some other majors that are absolutely fine too are general biology, environmental science, natural resources. So all of these majors are, you know, biologically, environmentally related that would look totally typical on any wildlife biologist uh, resume. But also, if you're not going to major in something that's biologically or environmentally related, I would say the next best thing is just to major in something that is science related. So if you major in like physics or chemistry, I would say that's the next best thing. But even if you don't major in anything that's science related, and let's say you major in something like English or history as an undergrad, 
you can still have a career in wildlife biology. I've known multiple people who have done that as an undergrad and they've ended up having a very successful career in wildlife biology. Usually they've gone back to grad school for at least a master's in wildlife biology, but I also know people who have majored in the humanities who have gone on to become a wildlife biologist and they didn't even have a graduate degree and the reason they were able to be successful was because they just had so much experience, they had really good skills, and they had really good connections too. So again, experience, skills, connections, grades, all that stuff matters. If you're looking to become a wildlife biologist in academics, you gotta go the PhD route, so your grades matter a ton and your academic research experience matters a ton. If you're a published author of a scientific paper as an undergrad, that is huge. In environmental consulting, I would say that matters the most is your experience and connections. Specifically, in terms of experience, if you have certain permits to be able to do certain types of surveys, um, that is really huge for getting you a job. One other thing I just wanted to say is, on a side note, if you are thinking about going to medical school or vet school, I know that you have to take a combination of different science classes. You have to take physics, chemistry, biology, uh, math, and some humanities. Um, it doesn't really matter what science you major in as long as you get those requirements done. Let's say you're not sure if you want to go into wildlife biology or environmental science or something else, but at the same time, you might want to go to vet school or med school. Uh, you can make it all work on your transcript. You, you're gonna have to take a lot of those same science classes anyways for wildlife biology. So just know that you can go through undergrad getting all the requirements done for everything. And then if you just decide you wanna go be a wildlife biologist, you can do that. Or if you wanna go be a doctor or a vet, you can do that too. Now the last thing I'm gonna say is that I know that a lot of people watching this video are not going to be from the United States. I'm from the USA, I've worked in the USA, gone to school in the USA, so all this advice pertains to the USA, but from what I have heard is that in other countries, the title of your major might actually matter a lot more. So my advice to anyone not living in the United States is to find a wildlife biologist who lives in your own country and ask them this question, does your major matter? because it might matter, it might matter more than what I'm telling you in this video. So guys, I hope that this video helps at least if you live in the United States. If you have any more questions about careers in wildlife biology, write them in the comments because I'm happy to answer questions and I'm also happy to make more videos to answer these questions as well. Feel free to subscribe to the channel because I'm planning on making more videos on career advice for wildlife biologists, but the general focus of my channel is to teach people how to enjoy nature, teach people about nature, and essentially teaching you how to be a biologist. So how to find wildlife, how to photograph wildlife, how to identify wildlife, teaching you about its natural history, ecology, and conservation. Another great channel that gives great tips on all this stuff is Christina Lynn. She is a wildlife biologist that lives in Canada. Good luck with everything. I'm sure you guys will do awesome. Catch you next time.